Oh. Hey, sir. Sir, are you all right? Wait, I can't stand. Is this the hospital? Yes, it's the hospital. Look at me. Can you see me? Oh, it's all black. I can't. Can I get some water? Okay, sure. Whoa, right. whoa, whoa. What are we doing blocking hallways here, people? People need to pass through here. Nurse, what are you... Jeez, when was the last time this guy had a shower? Nurse. Nurse. Don't you have anything better to do than stand around here blocking the hallway? Don't you have some job to do or something? Doctor, doctor, I can't, I can't feel my legs and my, my arm, it's numb. Help me, help me, help me, please, whoa, whoa, whoa. please. Don't stand just there, do something. What? Dr. Wilson, will you examine the patient? Patient? Does he have an appointment? What? Does he have a job or insurance or any money? This guy's not a patient. Doctor, what? please help me. Help me. Hey, 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 hey. What if you go into the hospital one day and you run into a guy with the nickname Dr. Death? That means when you go to this guy, it's a good chance that you may die because he doesn't care about you, especially if you're homeless. This guy is working in one of those hospitals where he gets homeless people all the time and he's sick of it. So what he's going to do, he's going to tell the homeless person, I don't want to work on you anymore. I want you out of this hospital. You don't have no insurance. You smell. I don't want to have to touch you. With COVID going around, I really don't want to deal with you. So you get doctors like this sometimes. Doctors that are just let you die if they have to work on you. So he's telling this guy, hey, rather than me work on you, just get out of here. And a nurse can't believe it. What if you run into a guy like that? What would you do? Would you report him? Would you get angry and hit him? I mean, what do you do in this situation? A guy that's been practicing medicine his whole life at Yale University. And now he's a big time doctor, but he has 32 deaths on his roster. Doctor death. What are you going to do if you ever run into a character like this? He's not well. He can barely stand. It's your duty as a doctor to help him. Honey, my duty is to heal people. Okay? Now get him out of my office. And if you're going to talk to me like this, you get out of I'm my office. I'm not living. Okay, here's how it's gonna go. One, he gets a job, gets some insurance, and pays his bills like everyone else. Two, you get out of my office because I'm not running a chair. How can you think about money when a man can't stand on his feet? What would you tell his family if he wouldn't make it? He doesn't it? have a family. He's like a rodent. They're all rodents. They come in here looking for something for free. They want a free meal, they want a free bed. They act like they're sick because they want something for free. Well, you know what? If he wants to get sick, he needs to get a job. How can you say that? You haven't even examined the guy. I'm not gonna examine the guy, okay? I already told you this. Now, if you have nothing better to do, why don't you run along and wheel that guy out of here and tell the attendant to air out that room because that guy stinks. What? But that... Listen, I am done talking. Okay? Now go. It's okay. It's all right. Don't worry. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna hard on like Dr. Wilson. I'm gonna help you. Come on. I'll be fine. When you got an evil doctor like that, you gotta take care of yourself. Because it has to be in God's hands. Because you have doctors that are so angry and frustrated because they're not getting paid what they want to be paid. They can turn where evil. Turn into a Dr. Doom. This is Egg Doll Production. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.